Auction Workspace Real Estate. Uh, today we're going to uh, kind of show off the powers of some of the tool sets we use here to find uh, retail, office, and industrial information. Today we're going to look at a retail deal, and this is a tax office that needs uh, spaces throughout the Houston area. It's a franchise. So a typical tax office is looking for about 800 to 1500 square feet of space. Okay, and my instructions on this for this particular client are to get a very um, strong demographic that fits parameters that we've already discussed. And uh, for this office, you know, these are guys with income per capita of usually less than about 70000 a year. Um, they want high traffic areas that are pretty dense. So I want to show you guys how we quickly and very uh, effectively kind of isolate those areas so the client can have a comprehensive set of options. So the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, because I know that this particular tax office focuses on the uh, Hispanic community, uh, specifically uh, Spanish speakers. So we're going to focus on the strongest markets in Houston that have that demographic. And I will tell you that um, one of the densest areas for the Hispanic uh, consumer population is right here off of 59 and West Park Tolling. We're going to say this block. And also, we're going to scoot it over to 45, this block here as well. Now here, I'm going to do a corridor search because I'm actually interested in properties off of the freeway. I'm not really interested on retail centers that are off the beaten path. So we're going to go here. And the great thing about this corridor search is it actually focuses on anything that's a mile from the freeway. So it's a pretty good uh, set of coverage there. I'm also going to hit the beltway. This is another area. And we're going to hit Northwest Houston and the east side as well. Now I'm starting pretty broad. We can drill much more specific, but I want to hit hot spots where I know the demographic is going to be strong and is going to fit what we're looking for. Now on 45, um, everything from south of Acres Homes on up to about Greens Point would be a strong area to to actually look. So right now we have 149 properties that are retail that are 800 to 1500 square feet of space. Okay, and we want to have existing because I'm looking, you know, we need to move quickly on this. So now we have 129 properties. I could stop there, uh, but we won't, you know, because I, I don't want my client to look at things that I know can't work. So we're gonna, what we're going to do from here is we're going to try to screen these a little bit further. And um, I like an Excel format so that we can kind of look through here and kind of just sort things out. So obviously these are all existing properties here. This shows the address, which the map view is better to sort out from that. And I also like to sort things by rent so I can see where the strongest opportunities are. This particular client is looking for more upscale retail and the rental rates there are gonna be typically from 25 bucks a foot and up. So I do know that these would be the sweet spots we can focus on but I still want to show other properties. Now, one of the strengths of this particular program is I can sort by listing broker, so I can pull all the Hartman's properties, for example, or NewQuest is good for strong retail here in Houston. If I just wanted to focus on those types, I can do it, but this client wants to see everything. I'm also able to look at things by broker if I wanted to, you know, and of course you can subdivide it by market and everything else as well. Here's another neat feature that I can actually break things down by parking ratio. So if I know that my client's tax office is going to have particularly high needs, I can actually break this down by, you know, six, seven spaces per thousand square feet, um, which is very high. It's very uh, much above market. The market is about four spaces per thousand square feet. And then you have places like uh, this particular property, 5901 Hillcroft, that only has 1.47 
spots per thousand square feet. That's not a spot that would work for most retail uses. It's actually uh, quite anemic, uh, with the average being three to four spaces per thousand square feet. They're going to have problems, uh, anyone that has any kind of traffic being in a space like this. So what, what I'm going to do now is kind of weed out some of the spaces that I know won't work for reasons like parking or they're not on a high traffic area. So I'm going to do that first and then jump back so you can see what I got here. You know, I forgot to mention, here's another powerful tool. Um, well, we have demographics for all of these properties. So all the properties that we've selected, I can see their 2016 estimated population, the percentage of population growth that was there, which is very important. I can see the median age, okay, the income, the amount of employees in that area. So this is extremely powerful. Very quickly, I can sort through and say, you know, give me the densest areas in population. And just, just like that, I can actually sort this and see where the densest areas are, which, co which also have, uh, coincidentally, very high population growth. And these are areas that I would prioritize. So I can send this in that order and recommend to my client which areas to focus on. Now, these are tools that it would take uh, weeks or months for someone to manually go through and just drive around and see a spot that they like. But um, in a matter of moments with the tools that we have and the data that we have, we're able to very quickly isolate, group together, and sort out what we think is best for a client. So at this part of the process, um, and some people may consider this part tedious, but I know a lot of these properties, so the ones that are not fitting the curb appeal that we're looking for, I'm going to take out if the building is too old, um, something like this, you know, that I know is not going to really fit. It's in a dense area, but let me give you a closer look so you can see what I'm talking about. You know, just having knowledge of what the client's looking for. And if I see a property that's not really ideal, you know, the parking looks tough. There's not really a lot of visibility here. It's not in a uh, attractive uh, market with, with new construction. You know, I'm going to go ahead and rule those out because I know my client doesn't want to see these types of properties. So that, again, saves them time uh, from having to jump out there. Because 146 properties is quite a bit to kind of sort through, especially if you're not just experienced in doing this all day. So you, you typically want to show people uh, from 146, you want to narrow it down to maybe 10 to 15 if you can. So that's quite a bit of screening. Of course, you want to keep these uh, available for your client to look at if they want to see them. But it's important, and I think it's a big advantage using our actual experience to point out what's best first and allowing them to see the whole picture, but also see the ones that you've already sorted to save, you know, save them some time. So for the properties I'm going to actually recommend to my client first, because I know density is really important, I'm going to start off with the highest amount of density and the corresponding uh, highest amount of growth for the population. And uh, I'm going to go from the, the highest here at 52,000 all the way down to probably about uh, 22,000. You know, anything less than that, we can kind of screen if we want to. Uh, just because the population growth here, being it being a retail deal, we want to be in an area that has enough rooftops to support uh, the business. And we also want to see uh, that trending growth in these communities that we selected because we want to we want to move where uh, the growth is so that the retail uh, spot that we pick can last for five to seven years. The problem with getting into an aging market where the population is smaller, you know, you sign a five-year lease in a place like that, then, um, you know, you're taking some risk. Um, we want a market that we know is going to allow us to settle in and, and we can grow with the market. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and select these quickly and then print some reports. Okay, so that now that we've selected properties here, um, because there's so many, uh, another strength in our tool set is uh, the reporting feature. So I can put this information in a very concise fashion here. I actually went over the amount of properties for this report. But uh, I can do a line report where everything's on one page. That's um, They're not printing out 500 pages worth of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and format this so we can actually get out a report and um, get this wrapped up. All right, so to wrap things up here, we're going to look at a classic one-page report. That allows the client to see all of the salient details on each specific property. And then we're going to pick a map overview report. 
that shows where these are located in Houston. And uh, last but not least, a map report with one line property information so that they can actually see the uh, score corresponding number and they can kind of see how things are mapped out over the entire Houston market. So this is a great way to get an overview. From this list, the client's going to be able to get back to us and actually tell us which one they like, which we'll be able to dig into much more detail. So I hope this information was helpful to you. Uh, happy hunting, hunting out there in the Houston market. If you need help or advice on, on information with uh, office industrial retail, we love doing this stuff. This is all that we do. Uh, location intelligence is the name of the game, and uh, we'd love to help. So just give us a shout, and we'd love to answer any questions or put uh, a message in the comments, and we'll join you there. Thanks for watching.